Hello, my name is Victor Talamini. Our twin girls, Victoria and Francesca, were born 14 years ago this month, so happy birthday to my girls. They were born at 26 weeks and weighed one pound, eight ounces. I like to say they were born healthy but small. But while in the NICU, Francesca contracted MRSA, a superbug infection. She had to be extubated and put on a vent, and at that time she coded, causing her to sustain a severe brain injury um, that affects her learning left hand, left arm, and lower mobility. By Frankie's first birthday, she was already enrolled in early intervention services, received in-home physical, occupational, and speech therapy. At three, she went off to a school close to our home. She used a small stroller, and because she was young and small, my wife and I were able to carry her around um, from place to place, take her to the store, um, family's house, in a stroller, and by carrying her. Uh, this approach did not go easy after she had grown in size, obviously, um, and she also uh, was affected emotionally by it because she wanted to walk, and we had to explain to her all the time that she could not walk. We would have to carry her. When she turned nine, we moved, and she was enrolled in PG Chambers School. Right away, her therapist recommended a power chair for her, and the on-site equipment clinic made that easy. Insurance approved it without a problem, and the school staff helped Frankie drive and learn how to drive that chair around the school as best she could. A little bit about Frankie. She's a happy girl. Like many of us, she doesn't like to wait. She doesn't like to sit and be left out. Um, imagine having to wait for everything, for a snack, for your phone, for someone to get the TV remote, um, to go to the bathroom or get a book. It, it's, it's hard for a young kid that just wants to get up and go like everybody else. Um, when we go to the playground, she really can't use much of the equipment um, without a wheelchair um, even though we have found a, a wheelchair accessible park that she can now use most of the equipment in due to having a, a power chair. Um, it, it's, it's been hard for a while because she um, always wanted to go outside with her sister and, and see her friends and, and play. They play in the street here um, and she would have to sit inside and, and watch before she learned to, to drive that chair successfully and, and accurately without crashing into things or God forbid flipping it over. So um, with the help of PG Chambers and the school and the, the clinic and the staff and the physical therapist and the occupational therapist, they all worked with her to help her learn how to drive and look over her shoulder and do some things that she never had to do before. Um, now she can watch TV in her bedroom. She can go to the kitchen table and color when she wants. She can have a snack. She can play one-handed Wii sports games. Uh, she likes bowling and baseball and uh, wakeboarding. She can go outside with her sister and socialize with her friends. I've put a ramp on the house that makes it much easier for her to go outside now. Um, that was a blessing. Other times we would have to carry her and then carry the wheelchair down together. Um, but we've accomplished having to let her go outside on her own independently with the, with the help of, of the ramp. The one thing she did say when she first got her power chair, and, and it'll always stick with me, is she said, Dad, I can be independent now. And I can't tell you what that did to my heart. That just, that'll stay with me forever. I, I couldn't imagine having a, someone say to me that they, they were happy they were independent. Pretty much all of us are independent. So that kind of, that, that hits you right, right in the gut when you have to hear that thing. Um, after three years, Frankie had grown out, out of her chair. So the health insurance company gave us an unexpected kick in the gut when they told us that it was a convenience for someone to have a power chair. Um, but that's a whole nother story. And after an agonizing series of appeals, Frankie got her new chair. But let me say this, that wheelchair is not a convenience. Her chair serves as her feet. It has opened a whole new world to her. She can visit our neighbors. She can shop at a dollar store. She can go to her favorite place to eat, Smashburger. Um, she can make choices. It has, as predicted, allowed her to be independent. 
It has changed her life and ours. So in closing, I'd like to say many thanks to the PG Chamber School for recommending a power chair, for helping her choose the right chair, um, for helping her navigate that chair. Um, and she said she at first she had a permit and now she has a driver's license. So I would love to uh, thank them for that. Um, so I hope you support the school's plan to expand their power mobility programming so that many of the kids like Frankie can gain their independence. Thank you.